I'm Adam Calloway. I'm at Cattle Chat Corner here at NCBA 2014 in Nashville, Tennessee. We're at the Grow Safe Noble Foundation booth, and I have with me Sarah Brown. Sarah works for Beef Today, and you're one of the uh, livestock production editors. Is that correct? Tell me a little bit about what you do at Beef Today and uh, what the Beef Today is in general for the agricultural industry. Beef Today is a magazine that is inside of Farm Journal and in part of Farm Journal Media family. And we're here covering the event uh, on both online and through the magazine. And uh, we're just here enjoying the show and catching up with um, multiple different companies and producers and uh, finding out what's really coming for 2014 and beyond. It feel weird to be on the opposite side of the interview? This is really weird, yeah. yes. I know. That's why I'm on this side of the microphone. It's good to be on the asking the questions part. So let's talk a little bit about uh, Beef Today's uh, network of, of, of uh, publications and, and the ag web. Will you tell our audience a little bit about that? So Beef Today went through a redesign a few months ago, and so we're, we're really happy with our product right now. Um, we're inside of Farm Journal Magazine. We're part of the Farm Journal Media family. Um, that means you can also find beeftoday.com or agweb.com. You can go on to both sites and uh, be able to read beef production information. And um, we also have a new e-newsletter that um, I hope many of you be able to capture in your email. It's Grazing the Net, where we uh, bring um, daily information to you and uh, put a little humor spin on it and tell you what you really need to know. So, We've seen Grazing the Net, and it is funny. Uh, the one thing that has not been funny is some of the topics that come up in agriculture this last year. One of them being a certain burrito company that has produced some commercials that have gone out through mainstream media and have had a huge impact on people's perceptions about farming. Um, can you tell me what your reaction was when you saw the commercials that portray it as sort of a factory? It was just very disappointing to us. Um, you know. As a producer ourselves, um, many of our staff, you know, came from agriculture backgrounds, and um, we do a. We, that's our job is to promote agriculture and um, to tell producers things they need to know to be better at their job. And so it was very disappointing for us. Um, but it's also one of those areas where it just reminds us again there is still a lot to be done, um, even. Today, the messages that we heard continually, consumers want to know about their beef. And we need to be telling it to them. we got to take our step off the defense avenue and go right back onto offense and tell them what our story is, no matter what that story is. Um, be telling consumers about your beef. Well, one of the things that comes out of uh, those commercials and out of, as a result of those things, is animal welfare and that uh, the betrayal being so inaccurate about animal welfare. You having had a background in agriculture, talk about animal welfare on your operation. Animal welfare is very important to us. Um, you know, a lot of those cattle that are in the herd right now are animals I showed whenever they were at the fair. And so you, you get to watch those animals um, continue on and be productive and replacements and, um, and finding what those genetics and those values are. And it's really important for us um, as producers to be able to just watch and to grow in that type of information and um, really be very mindful about every step that we do and um, be active in supporting the Beef Quality Assurance Program um, to do those things right. Uh, one of the speakers today said, if if someone, if a reporter came to your farm and you would be embarrassed by that, don't do it. And that's a great way to go. One of the things that also came up was just recently McDonald's announced that they want to do verifiable, sustainable uh, beef, be purchasing verifiable, sustainable beef by 2016. What do you think uh, sustainable means to the consumer now? And what does it mean to the producers? So there seems to be a difference in definition. What, are the, what is that? That's the challenge that we all face, is what is those differences and um, what does that look like for producers? And I think um, once we get a little bit more handle on, um, for example, McDonald's and, and what those production measures are going to be, that's going to be an interesting way um, to start educating our producers about that. Um, again, the best way to start is always to go back to your county, your your state association, and start doing those simple BQA um, production measures to, to improve your sustainability. Start with yourself 
and then the rest will follow. One of the things that is so important about telling the uh, beef industry story is technology. And of course, you being at Beef Today knows all know all about technology. Uh, so I've got to ask, you've got a smartphone, right? I've got a smartphone. Um, you can also find us on Twitter, both Beef Today. And uh, my Twitter handle is Livestock Rider, L-V-S-T-K Rider. And you can follow us on Twitter. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook, uh, face, our Beef Today Facebook page. And uh, of course, we always have our e newsletters and our um, daily uh, information through our website. One last thing before we go, which is, if you had an opportunity to tell consumers one thing, what would you get? To, what would you say to them? Producers are here to help you eat well, eat happy. Um, beef still needs to be on your plate. Good, Sarah Brown. Thank you so much for stopping by Cattle Chat Corner.